Brian, there's so many uh, elements to this print. There's the search business, which is clearly the star, the expanding TAM there, the capital returns, the split itself. Uh, what's most important today? Yeah, thanks, Carl, for having us. Look, we saw broad strength um, in both advertiser spend and consumer engagement. It was, it was across verticals, retail, finance, media, travel was even strong. Um, so, so it was, it was, and it was broad based across products. Again, to your point, search, uh, YouTube network, you know, what, what I think is really important is, is cloud. It showed particular strength, 45% growth to 6 billion. Um, the backlog increased 70% to 51 billion. These are big numbers. These are starting to get in the realms of, of Azure and, and, and AWS. Um, so they're moving on to bigger and better and more complex enterprise workloads um, with a more sophisticated Salesforce too, right? 3X um, bigger than it was in 19 across geographies and products and industries. So a lot of strength at, at, at uh, Google's cloud business. I wonder what you make of the turmoil at various platforms like Pins, like Snap, uh, like PayPal today. We're all wondering what Meta is going to tell us tonight. Uh, but is this a, is this a, a dynamic where uh, the big guys, the champions, are simply getting stronger at the expense of smaller rivals? Look, okay, uh, it's a great question. I, I think what's important specifically for, for big versus small, um, maybe go back to, to Google's mission statement, right? It's to organize the world's information, make it universally accessible and useful. And, and they're, they're doing that. That's even more important in, in today's um, society and world maybe, but, but they continue to be able to lever um, AI and machine learning and automation and doing it at scale is important. And, and that's big versus small. They're doing it across utilities, search, maps, and YouTube. They're, they're creating new ways for uh, you and I and businesses to, to use images and words together. Uh, they're doing it across cloud. They've, they've introduced 2,000 new products last year for the cloud. So you need big scale to be able to do these kind of innovative things um, uh, as the pace of innovation just accelerates. Um. Hard to take issue with much of anything in terms of the quarter uh, at Alphabet, but you know some at least point to the continued increases in uh, expense growth. I think it was up 35 percent. So your operating leverage didn't really get any better. Is that a concern to you at all? Uh, what was OpEx? 20.5 billion for the quarter. Yeah, that, that, that's right. Um, up 35 percent. It was it was 19 percent growth last quarter. Um, look, there's a couple things we're watching. Um, FX is going to be a headwind for sure. Investments are ramping. Uh, and, and with uh, great growth comes, you know, great headcount additions, um, you know, 6,500 in, in the quarter. Um, and we expect strong hiring to continue in 22. It's okay because you're investing for growth and they're hiring, you know, the best and the brightest. Um, also impacting their CapEx, you know, increased uh, servers um, for both the core services and for growing out GCP. Um, you know, what else do they do? They, they just bought their London headquarters. Uh, for a billion. They just completed uh, purchasing um, a New York office building for, for two billion. So yeah, the, the spend is there, uh, uh, David, to your point, especially in, in cloud. But we'd point out that um, the cloud operating loss and, and operating margin did improve throughout the year. Uh, and they're focused on a path to profitability. A and again, um, they're continuing to invest aggressively, um, given the opportunity as, as businesses um, do this transformation to to the cloud and then to digital. Mm -hmm. And and when you look at it, the the workloads, uh, seventy five percent of workloads um, still have to do this digital migration to the cloud. Mm -hmm.